Okay, I'm going to try to demonstrate the cutoff technique. Essentially, you walk to somebody's left, and while you're walking on someone's left, you have to walk in front of them. So, so you see, essentially, with that suit, what I did was I was walking on. I saw him walking towards me, so I started off walking towards on the left side keep walking and then the second I wanted to take a photo of him I moved immediately I cut to the right side of the street and took a photo in front of him and generally the cutoff technique works best if you're shooting in crowded tiny streets so like a narrow street like this for example you walk on the left side of the sidewalk and then if you're about to take someone's photo you walk immediately in front and you essentially cut to the side and then take a photo at that moment. And the reason why this is important is if you're shooting with a wide angle lens like a 24 millimeter or a 28, 35 millimeter lens, it works really well. So example like cutting in from there. And the difficult thing about the cutoff technique is that in order for it to work pretty well, the timing is really important. So when you decide to click the shutter, and you actually have to get really really close so about one arm length away so let's say i'm walking this way and you have to cut in front of people's walking to get a shot head on so obviously you know not all these shots you make are going to be good ones i doubt any of these are good shots but once again it's a good technique if you want to create shots which are more dynamic more more head-on because sometimes when we're shooting and we think we're getting close enough to people and we shoot it from the side them actually walking by us that's what my buddy charlie kirk calls an oblique angle and the issue with oblique angles is that it doesn't give you the impression that like on the streets you're about to walk into somebody you're about to collide with them and so generally in street photography if you want to make better photos you want to almost <laughs> like almost walk into people and collide with them in order to make a good shot also it's important to shoot head on um so let me try to get an example so i'm walking on the sidewalk this way and then in. and so you can see i'm walking cut off in some front of somebody and then the last second i try to take a photo and then you know you just kind of apologize so let's say i'm walking this way or if i'm walking this side you can see i walked in front of him so essentially okay if i'm walking on this side of the street cut off in front of people and then take the photo click and then keep walking on this side of the street or you can stay on this side of the street, cut this way, take the photo head on, and get the shot. So let's say here. You can see the lady was walking towards this side of the street, then I cut it in front and shot it head on. So also another tip is when you're shooting, you see a lot of people there. It's good to shoot head on by walking into the, the sidewalk, the curb, so you can shoot head on. So for example, You could photograph the things here, or if you're walking here. And this is really important when you're shooting street photography because you want to shoot head on. So you can also see with those girls I was walking down the street, cut off in front of them this way. All right, so that is essentially the cutoff technique 101 in uh, street photography. So realize that if you want to get a good shot, 
If you're shooting with a wide angle lens, once again, a 24 millimeter lens, a 28 millimeter lens, a 35 millimeter lens, you have to get close. You have to, don't be afraid to kind of crowd the sidewalk and get in people's way in order for you to get a good shot. This is also a good example. In the crosswalk, and it's good to do the cutoff technique here. Oops, mess in. So you could see I'm essentially wiggling in front of people. This thing is pretty good. And to be honest, I think my timing in these, uh, um, I'm shooting with the Lumix LX100. It's a tiny bit of a lag, so I don't know if any of these photos are actually turning out decently. They're probably not any good. They're probably not close enough. Because once again, you had to be get close. You had to be aggressive. That's me saying. So once again, you're walking here, cutting off in front of people. And generally, the cutoff technique and shooting head on in street photography works best. Once again, in small, narrow streets. So generally, like the sidewalk here in Kyoto, it's pretty tiny. So generally, the easiest strategy is when you're out shooting know where you're shooting to shoot in a, a small pretty narrow street all right so thanks for watching guys stay stay bold be aggressive when you're shooting street photography get close uh and just essentially follow your gut thanks a lot for watching guys Peace out. this is also good people are walking head on So a good place to shoot street photography is these sidewalks because um, when you're crossing the, the street, it's other people's imperative to just cross the street. So uh, pe most people aren't going to stop you in the middle of the sidewalk and yell at you for taking their picture because their goal is to be on the other side. That's what So you see the guy was walking towards me and then essentially I walked, confront, took the photo and then when I was on the right side of the street, saw the other guy walking towards me and walking this way, speed that way and then shoot head on that way. You can see like I was walking down the street and then I walked to the side of the curb to shoot on uh, head on. The nice thing with Japanese people, they're actually really nice. They just tried not to get in your way. And um, yeah, so when you're walking, don't be afraid to obstruct other people's walking and movement or else you're not going to be able to really uh, shoot head on. And it's nice because the more you try to shoot and act like a dumb tourist and you're just like standing up, it's going to be good. <laughs>